Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper, the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, we had completed three whole levels. I am amazed that I can manage that. And in this episode, I'm going to complete one level for sure. And then it just moves back anyways. Okay, it's hiding here, he won't see you. So, uh... Certainly a smart move. Um, so I just level. A uh, cunning disguise. Now, how does this level work? This level introduces something also that's new. I don't think it's really a new thing for games, but it's definitely new for this game. Is the disguise barrel. Gold. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. And let's find out, indeed. So these things will shoot at you. And it's very fun to scoon like it's covered in arrows. Um it's a little shine when you jump out of the barrel for some reason. I don't know what's up with that shit. Also, no attack will hurt you in this thing. Some attacks probably will, but watch this. I love this is my favorite Easter egg of the game. Get out of the way. Barrel starts smoking up. It's still usable. It looks like this now. The texture just changed. It's all charred and burnt. I can still walk through here and get myself attacked. I think the barrel is the most tortured character in this game, I swear. If it's just a character. The barrel is really tortured, though. Now, if he stays still, he will, like he said, he will not see you. But you gotta stay still to keep that effect in progress. Otherwise, he will see you in the barrel. Because obviously, this game's smart, unlike most games. A moving barrel does not make sense. Oh, it's a thing right here. Those books to be uh, just entertaining. It's entertaining to break everything in this game. That's why the thing I love about this game is everything's breakable. Okay, that guy's not gonna move, so we need to go around him. The old fashioned way. Assassination. <laughs> Assassination, that's the old fashioned way. Assassin's Creed told me so. Look how old that fashion is. I mean, look how old. Whatever. Old and fashioned that way is. I don't know. Okay, there are shortcuts to this level, but they'd be of no use without the barrel, and you can't get the barrel up those shortcuts, so. Also, these things will not go away no matter what. Everything? Uh, can I do this? I can! Che cheating. I'm cheating. I'm a cheater. I cheated. I don't know why I did that for. I thought, I thought it would be like a cheat. I thought you could jump over him. But this game got smarter than me and made it so that not jumping, stepping, even not even jumping, bleh. getting in the general area will activate them. Bleh. I can talk, people. Now we only got one. Also, these lights seem like the wrong color for some reason. I don't know why. They are the wrong color. Cause got a comparison right there. This guy's here is like pea yellow. That's a weird way of describing it. Theirs was like Mountain Dew, yellow green. That was a weird way of describing colors, but you guys, anyone watching this will now agree with me. That was P yellow and Mountain Dew yellow. Oh my god. That was disturbing, but true. Actually, it's more like mellow yellow. Yellow. But it was indeed yellow. Why am I, why am I getting into this subject of what color yellow that was? Today, this episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper, we're going to be describing the color yellow. Elmo loves yellow. Get those. 
Right here is one of the hardest items in the game. Right here is this pushing this. They always stump me with good. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Let me got it. Not that button. What happens if I step in it? I just want to see. Oh, is it? oh my crap, it's a weird red, red too. It's like, uh... What color red was that? That was like, uh... Oh, what's that red pop? Oh, man. It's, um... Like the only good red pop in the world. I don't know what brand it is. Some brand. Some brand of red pop, probably. And there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the episode where we need to learn our colors. <laughs> I described colors. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Well, actually, that's kind of a useful one, but I'm probably not going to use it. Because I never break anything. It's just. Don't do it to the thing. That's what you can do now. It also makes a great attack, but. Again, what would you need to attack like that? Unless, like, I did an assassination part. That was pretty cool. Um, that probably be a good point where you'd learn some kind of, need some kind of move like that. But in other words, you don't really need a move like that. It's, they're all kind of useless. Let me describe it like this. Doesn't do anything. Gets the coins for me, but it doesn't get the enemies very well. I don't need this anymore. I already got the thing. Uh, there we are. And that was another level. Also, another episode. I was like, oh, it's not over yet. What was I saying? This isn't a 10 minute episode, this is a 20 minute episode. But, um. But, um. I think there's two more levels left. That effect is very broken. Yeah, there's two levels left. There's seven. Three if you count the boss fight. Every, every level is, every world is eight levels. Seven for keys and one for a boss fight. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's its You mean my holographic markers. Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. I remember as a little kid, I legitly, no joke, expected actual markers. Like Crayola markers. This is not gonna work. Two more. You need two more keys, you little bitch. Just kidding. Um, two more keys. I like the effect of it puts like all your keys in and there isn't enough. Like every key is a spot in that thing. I got 10 extra lives. This game actually is really smart with extra lives. If you guys remember back in the N64 days, you'd get like 9 lives and you have too many. This game you can get 99 lives. That's good. I like an understandable amount of lives that I'll never reach. Banjo Kazooie gives you like the option of 9 but you never reach that number. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who's reached that number. You found it, Sly. This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his fucking treasure. So at least it is fucking treasure. <laughs> Am I the only one who heard that? This is where Raleigh's group of crabs hide his fucking treasure. <laughs> yeah, use the right analog stick to shoot, left analog stick to move. This is a very hard control to get used to, but when you get used to it, it's really useful. And really good to me. Because you can like move this way and be like, eh, I'm going this way. Oh, I'm moving around, and I just... Let a crab take one into a two. Oh, 
I'm doing surprisingly well at this. I love the sound effects here, by the way. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, you did it. The crab animation is hilarious, by the way. Oh my god, I actually I usually suck at that. I, I I'm going to admit I usually cannot do that. Um, got it my first try. I literally got it my first try. That that is great. Okay, that that was a great episode. Not episode great great part. It's also a short level to get it done without dying. I'm not gonna go for the extra life. I can never do it. It's not worth it, I got 10. I don't die that much, that much in this game. I will admit, I do die, but not that much. Okay, the gunboat graveyard. This is like my favorite level. And, you know what? There's one thing this game doesn't have a lot of, that's Easter eggs. I don't know, I'm stuck that this hit my head. There isn't a lot of Easter eggs in this game. There's one, there's one Easter egg, and it's so obvious. It's not like stop and swap or anything. You know, I've been working on the Stop and Swap episode, the Stop and Swap video for Banjo Kazooie. And Easter eggs have been the thing I've been looking for lately. And, uh. Yeah. This is also a very old game. This is like the first PS2 game. But it's still a great game. It's, 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 it's amazing. PS2's first game was a great game. If this was the first game, it could have been like a demo disc or something. Just to get stuff out. Then again, PS2 probably had like a million games ready at first, but this was one of the first. Also, lasers, lasers, searchlights, whatever. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. What the hell is that thing? I, I I always notice that thing. I was always thinking like, what the hell is that? It's like this weird uh eye thing swimming up, and it infinitely swims up. There's like an infinite amount of them. They're disgusting, by the way. What is that thing? What, what is the point of that? I, I don't know. There's those little details they put in. Hoping you'll notice it. Reminds me of, uh... I think it's Heart Hero. Company. This logo. What is the company's name? Ladies and gentlemen, using your attacks properly. Oh. Oh. Oh, got myself into a bit of a position here. <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't even fight back! What? Also, these things are breakable. I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I just remember them being, figuring out they were breakable, and I was like, oh, that's so cool! You'll, you'll learn, like, new things for this game every time you play it. Like, what's breakable and shit. But it's not like Zelda or anything where you learn something entirely new every time you play it. It's just... Or <laughs> Skyrim, like the whole point is learning something new when you play it. Press the circle to enter the vault code. This one was cake. Input 719. Well, that was simple. Oh, you lucky sly. This page features Karen Cooper Gila's coin magnet. Best one in the game. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Automatically collect any coins I come near. This is kind of like the bolt grabber in Ratchet and Clank, except it's not as hard to get to. But coins are, of course, not for any use like that in this game.
There we are. That was fun. I'm enjoying this LP. This LP, this is one of my more enjoyable LPs whenever I do it. Like, when I do games like uh, Zelda, I, I feel like I'm getting, like, very forced to do things. I don't like games where I have to, like, just force myself into something. I like games where I just, like, just play it naturally and I'm doing good. And I enjoy it, and it's fun. That's the whole point of an LP. Don't play a game where you feel like... It's like, if I did Super Mario 64, I knew that LP was very funny, but I wasn't enjoying the LP by the end. I just wanted to end it off and get it over with. I was getting pissed at the game. How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously. We should have stuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make an end of my what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. You know, as a little kid, you'd never notice this. But Raleigh's gay, isn't he? And I fell in the water, didn't I? Come on, I was gonna hit you. I should do this if I want to. I haven't memorized anything here, but he looks like he looks like Abraham Lincoln. This is a very hard boss fight for the first one. Not a hard boss fight, but for the first one, this is very difficult. They don't just... They, the first boss fight, they don't just, th like, work you into it. No, they just get you into this shit. Now, for this one, you need to get him onto these platforms. There we are. His face, in the bottom left, their final face is always the funniest one. And they always have this really funny one at the end. This is hard. This is hard. I can do this. Blast it all! You've beaten me! Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> I love that you type it. Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Yay. Also, you got all these little things. For, these things are all for each level you complete, by the way. They're not for getting the whole game done. Or the whole level world done. But each one's one level. There's nine levels per world. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't see nine. Oh well. Each level will trigger a new one. As Bentley, so you can watch cutscenes over again. And unlocking all the cutscenes requires you get everything in the game, by the way. And you know what? In the next episode, we will go to Mesa City like they want us to. So, see you guys then.